Check out this bee's tongue. Look at it licking up the nectar from this basil flower. Each foraging bee will visit 50 to 200 flowers on any one trip, collecting both nectar and pollen. They keep licking up nectar until they have filled their special honey collecting stomach. A bee can carry its own body weight in nectar and pollen. It's amazing they can fly home at all really. On her trip back to the hive, she uses enzymes and proteins in her honey stomach to break down the complex sugars from the flower nectar to simpler ones less prone to crystallisation. This process is called inversion. If she gets a little hungry on the way, she can feed herself by tapping off a bit of the nectar from her honey stomach to her digestive tract. She then arrives back at the hive and regurgitates her sugary offering to another younger bee to process it further. In the bee's stomach a lot of the water gets absorbed. This reduces the watery nectar to honey. Then it's deposited into a honeycomb cell. The final bit of condensing is done using bee air conditioning. This is where the bees fan their wings creating currents of air throughout the hive, reducing the honey down to an optimal water content so it will last. When it's ready, the bees put a wax cap on the cell to store the honey for later. Isn't honey such an extraordinary thing? When you think about it, it's the nectar of millions of flowers collected from 7,000 acres or more around the hive, all condensed down by the bees into liquid gold and often full of amazing medicinal properties. It's no wonder they say beekeepers live longer. If you want to keep up with all the latest from Flow Hive, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel.